In our last lesson, we completed our header and footer section. Um, in this lesson, we are going to work on our navigation. So we have a few uh, functionalities here, so collapsible. Um, so to get started, let's go into our HTML code. We are going to start with our navigation. So we'll make a UL and LI within our UL. Okay, we'll give it a class. So it's a link, and then we'll put a href uh, within that. Okay, so this is going to link to index.html. So within our link, we we'll need to create two spans. So the first span would be for our glyph icon. And then the second span would be the actual name of the link that we are working on. So this is um, the glyph icon um, span, area hidden, uh, true. And then we have uh, another, another span. So this would be our actual link, dashboard. Okay, so save this and have a look and see what we have. So we have our icon and we have dashboard. Okay, so we could copy this code here and duplicate it, paste it here. Okay, so what we are working on now, so this will have article and comments which can collapse. So I'm going to skip those and jump straight to comments and we'll come back to the collapsible ones um, later. So this would be commenters and we have the glyph icon which would be user and we'll change this to commenters. Okay, so let's reset and see that we have our icon and commenters. So the next is tags. So let's go into our code. We could do the same. We'll copy this, paste it, and we'll put tags. And change the glyph icon to tags. Okay, so this is um this is a tag section done easily. Okay, so now we can paste what we have in our clipboard and change the href to settings and also change the glyph icon to a cog and change the title to settings. Okay, so there we go, we have the easy ones done. So now we're going to uh, focus on collapsible. So if you go into JavaScript, uh, look at collapse uh, examples here. So if you notice here, this link and this link both collapse then. So this constructs the link, uh, this constructs the button, and this here is what uh, displays our actual collapsible. So there are a few things to learn here. So we have data toggle, which matches up with the class here. Then we have this ID, which matches up with this ID here. So uh, we have the area control, which also matches up with the ID. So that's really what we need to, to do. We need to copy some of this um, content and use it here. Uh, so when we click on article, it should um, collapse um, and expand the children. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So after um, the dashboard, after dashboard we have article. So we're going to come down here, make a new list. So I'll type all this out so we can, um, as I can explain it as I go along. So we have a link, but this time this link um, is going to target an ID. So this is targeting our collapsible ID, which we are going to make soon. So we put the data toggle from the example we saw. This also um, has collapse in it. Then we have area control. This has our collapse um, ID. Okay, so collapse post is, I use post um, because we are going to be working on post. So the span glyph icon 
um, as we've done previously so this only displays an icon for us and area hidden is still true okay so now we have another span uh, which has a label oh, we don't need a class here so this would be article Okay, so if we come over here and have a look, we have article, it has 20 um, next to it, so I'm going to make another span. So this span will have a class, which would be a type label, and the type of label would be a success, so it's green, and we could have a number here, 20. Okay, so. Uh, we want to pull this to uh, pull it to the right okay so let's um, save this and have a look so there we go we have our 20 um, right there okay okay so carrying on with um, our collapse so everything that we need uh, collapsible will be within our UL um, which will have a class um, collapse and collapsible Okay, so we'll give our collapsible an ID which would match up with um, the area control and the href. So within our UL, we have the links that we want to um, display within a collapsible. So we have create new, and I can change this here. So this will be articles and this will be new article. So change the labels here too. So we have view, article. Uh, so so let's see what we have. If we click it there, it collapse it expands, click again, it collapses. So that's it really. So we've copied JavaScript and we've used it um, in our own way. Okay, so from here on is, uh, is a lot easier. So all we have to do is copy um, what we've done, uh, paste it and change, change the contents in a few places. So let's go ahead and paste it here. And we want to change the IDs. So this would be for comments. And we want to change this also for comments. And we want to change the glyph icon to a pencil and we want to change article to comments so everything on this line is fine or is it? let's have a look so when we look at comments it has no label so we can get rid get rid of this label and what is changing here the ID needs changing to comments and we can get rid of this and so we can create a new comment uh, change this link to approved and then change this label here to approved okay if we save this and have a look here comment has approved and a label and unapproved on a label. So if we come here, we could add a new label, uh, a span within our link, the, H, the href. Span class and put a label. The label type is success, and we want to pull it to the right, and we'll give this a value. And we can save this and preview. Um, something is not right with the comments. So we have approved is in there, but we're missing the glyph icon, but everything else is fine. So on the glyph icon uh, pencil, we need to get rid of list. Yep. Okay, save this and come back and reset the screen. Pencil shows up, comments is approved which is fine, uh, we need to have unapproved also. So we could copy our li 
uh, paste it here and change approved to unapproved and change the label to warning so it's orangey and we'll leave the number as 10. Okay, so let's see now. Reset, and there we go. We have approved, unapproved, and we have um, our site navigation HTML done. So in the next lesson, we'll style it and get it looking um, pretty. So this is what we've done in this lesson. Everything else we'll um, carry on with in the next lesson, and I'll see you there.